can bring you some breaking news, and that is that police believe that the missing chemical attack suspect, Abdul Azidi, is most likely in the River Thames. Now, no bodies have been found, but this is now the Met's main line of inquiry, we're told. So joining me from New Scotland Yard is Talk TV correspondent Oliver Whitfield Mircic. Um, Ollie, bring us up to date on what you know. <laughs> Yeah, so we've had the latest update now from the Metropolitan Police who believe that the main hypothesis is that Abdul Azidi, hours after he carried out that attack, after leaving the uh, tube station at Tower Hill, walking for four miles, hugging the River Thames, heading westwards, then reached the Chelsea Bridge, at which point his behaviour changed. The police believe he became more erratic. They've seen him walking forwards and backwards on the bridge, stopping in the middle of the bridge, and then they believe that he has entered the water. The police also believing that he is no longer alive. They say that because of the fast-flowing river conditions currently on the River Thames, it could be that a body will not surface for at least 28 days. They say potentially a body will never be retrieved. Now, they have painstakingly gone through all of the different CCTV right across the capital. You'll have heard in previous reports how we said that London has got most CCTV cameras out of anywhere in the world. Well, because of the number of cameras, the police say that has taken them so long to go through everything, through every twist and turn of the tube network. They said it is easier when somebody is above ground. And they say, actually, the way that they have made this conclusion is by studying CCTV from buses that were on the Chelsea Bridge at the time. They say that there were three buses, and so they can see Azidi arriving onto the bridge, but then subsequent analysis of that closer television shows that he did not leave the bridge. And so that is their main working hypothesis at the moment. They say that they don't believe anybody was helping Azidi in the aftermath of that attack against a mother and her two children in Clapham last Wednesday, where an alkaline substance was thrown at her, leaving her still in hospital sedated. But they say they are still investigating. Uh, in the lead-up to that attack, there's been eight raids so far, three of them armed, and some of those have also taken place in Newcastle-upon-Tyne, where Azidi was believed to have been living. And Ollie, I guess this leaves the police in something of a difficult situation because if their hypothesis is wrong, then an extremely dangerous man is still on the run. And obviously the police's responsibility would be to continue to find him dead or alive. But as you said, if they are briefing that it could potentially be weeks if he is dead in the River Thames before his body is found or washes up, then do they expend a lot of time and energy and resources and money on finding a man who they're pretty certain is dead just to be absolutely certain, if you see what I mean? So this actually is, is awkward for the Met. It is awkward for the Met, but the Metropolitan Police have said by no means is this operation over. Yes, it may be scaled down somewhat, but their inquiries will still continue. They've got to carry that, that out that investigation to find out how he got his hands on the chemicals in the first place. They will also be trying to piece together those final moments. The CCTV analysis will continue. And, of course, they've got marine specialists, psychologists as well, who are on those teams. And the marine specialists will continue patrolling the water. The flow of the river at the moment, though, makes it very difficult for the police to send divers down there. When the water is flowing so fast, it's nigh on impossible to keep a police diver in the same position at the same time. And anybody that's seen the River Thames will have seen how bracken and brown that water is. So the visibility really is less than what you would have as you, my hand in front of your face at the moment. So the police are keeping an open mind as to when potentially a body might appear. And if you look back at the tragic case of Nicola Bully, there, a body was not recovered for a number of days after she had slipped into the water. And because it is so flash flowing, it could mean that Azidi's body would then be washed out down Thames Estuary and into the sea. And Ollie, um, just finally, one last question for you. I just wondered if there was any update um, about uh, Azidi's uh, alleged victims, about their condition, the, the mother and the two uh, children. 
No update as of yet. The previous update that I attended on Wednesday, we'd heard that the mother of those two children was still in hospital. She was still sedated. The Metropolitan Police today sending out their uh, thoughts and wishes to this victim. We did hear on Wednesday as well that the two daughters are in care at the moment and that one of them had been injured in that attack. But for the moment, that's all that we have in terms of any sort of update about the victims in this horrendous attack that happened on Wednesday evening, last Wednesday evening in Clapham.